she wants to be in it. Nico could be in it. Tommy. Some negative points the minute you walk into the with Tommy. What? Hey, Tommy. Hey. That's a yes. All right, Tristan. Nico, you want to be in this? This little Q and A. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Okay, what's up? Women can of course either usually at least yeah. a knee length dress. Oh, okay. All right. What's your uh, <laughs> What's your name? My name? Yeah. Why? Uh, my name is uh, Ron Toria. All right. Nick. What's your favorite food? Um, pizza. All right, it's not, what you it's listening to? not usually Brandy a Sanders. measure I of, you know, discrimination. <laughs> All right, Classical it's usually music. not considered like discrimination right. by you failing to, to hire you because am I you to? have decided to put a tattoo well, I'll show you right on a here, place actually. that is almost antisocial. This is what I'm listening to. I mean, you play that fire. Sure thing, buddy. Especially when you're in a retail position or a position you're going to be working with people constantly. All right, it puts you at a disadvantage. And it's usually not the kind of image that a company wants to put out. Can, right, exactly. Unless that's something the company is about. So if you're applying right, for a tattoo parlor, that might be a case where you want to show off your tattoos. <laughs> Because that's showing off your no. previous knowledge of their products. I, I really Yo! They did hire us. We're gonna get your old ugly ass out of here, boy. Fucking hot you know, dog. I was just really manners. practicing an interview. Yo, Nick. Um, you're ugly as hell. Yeah, you can say that to them. You could, you're being ugly. You know, was there anything that kind of made you uh, scared or worried? There's especially, like I said, when it comes to retail jobs CJ, and whatnot. Do you know any big gossips? They will usually not be offended. Nick. It happens all the time. Nick. Like, what kind of music is it? Nick. I don't know. Like, what kind of sickness like, have you lied about so you wouldn't go to work? So, um, one time when I was in like kindergarten, I just said my bones hurt, so I didn't have to go to school. Oh, bone hurting juice, I see. All right, Tristan, what was the last lie you've ever told? And you know, you could maybe say something oh, like, you know, I this is a good next one. Next time I have um, clients for real, and you know, maybe I'll. I've never sent a dick pic. Like oh. Yeah, Jeez. What's your blood type? Um, O positive. How about your social security? One 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 one. Alright, Tristan, what was yeah. your first thought when you woke up this morning? God, I wish I was dead. Oh. Oh. What did you say? Okay, CJ. Ugly and live forever. What did you say? Or look attractive and die in a year. I mean, you can get plastic what surgery to fix that shit, right? Well, I, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be willing to eat a bowl of crickets for... For what? $40,000. Nah, that's not enough. That Shut up, Tommy. This isn't your question. Yes. Not enough at all. Say? I need a lot. How about you, Nick? Hello? Yo, is it bad? Hold up, wait, wait, wait. Alright, so I got a really good scoop. Are you recording? Yeah. Okay, I got a really good scoop here. You guys are not going to believe this. Okay, hold on. One, one quick second. I need to show the people something. You see this right here? Add me on Snapchat, T Rosa35. Start streaking me. Hit me up. Oh my god. <laughs> Give me my pencil back. 